I think it's sad that we only have 30 centers who want to protect preborn babies, especially given that this is a reasonable step. Abortion access will stay the same in Nebraska for now. Governor Pete Ricketts says they don't have the votes to change it, so he won't call for a special session. I'm Rob McCartney. I'm Julie Cornell. The decision's been met with both disappointment and celebration. In tonight's Big Story team coverage, you'll hear from state senators on both sides of the issue. First, the relief from a local doctor and the frustration from the Nebraska Family Alliance. KTV News Watch 7 Sarah Feely joins us live with that. Both sides say this decision now falls in the hands of voters. They want everyone to do their research ahead of the election and choose leaders who will hear their voice and vote. Abortion is essential health care. It's something that women need to have the right to access. Dr. Emily Patel is a maternal and fetal medicine specialist at Methodist. She's relieved to hear there won't be a special session to potentially ban abortion in Nebraska, but she knows the fight isn't over. We have a lot of work to do in, here in Nebraska on education, and this gives us time to do that, to educate the voters and the legislatures in our state. Patel says the choice to terminate a pregnancy should be a woman's alone. There are already a lot of restrictions surrounding abortion care, and we do not need any more restrictions, and we do not need politicians telling us how and when we can access care. On the other side, Nebraska Family Alliance is frustrated by the lack of a special session. That really is an injustice, uh, because ultimately this will lead to the loss of the lives of baby boys and girls in Nebraska. The group wants abortion restricted after 12 weeks in Nebraska. Right now, it's 20 weeks. We need to continue to educate and talk about uh, the scientific development and the beauty of life inside the womb and how Nebraskans are already stepping up to serve and support and provide care to both women and their children, both before and after birth. Nate Graz says they will keep fighting for stricter legislation in the state. We know that life is winning. Developments in, in science and technology continue to affirm what we have always known to be true, that an unborn child in the womb isn't just a, a blob of, of tissue or a clump of cells. It's a human being. These are babies that deserve to be loved and protected. Doctors aren't backing down either. Overwhelmingly, people feel that there should not be bans. Now, both sides expect that this issue will be part of the next legislative session. We should point out 25 seats are on the line in the November election. Julie, back to you.